Once, you have, once you've got that right, you'll press OK. Now we're going to draw it. Now the shape that we're going to draw, we're going to start making it simple by making the site rectangular. Now my preferred method of drawing something in 3D, if I know the size of it, is to use the rotated rectangle. So this third option. So we have the polygonal method, the rectangular method, and the rotated rectangle. And that means that I start by drawing a line. Generally I'll start horizontally, that's just the way that I work. I want to move from left to right. I'll hold shift if I need to, to make sure that I'm staying to zero. And that means I can move my cursor away from that straight line and still know that that's straight. While I'm holding shift, I'll then press D for distance or R for radius. Uh, sometimes I'll still say R and that's just because I'm a little bit old school. I've been using Archicad since it was in version seven and it used to be called radius and now they refer to it as distance. If we were to turn, turn on the coordinates, it would still have R, but when we have our little pet palette here, it <coughs> says distance. So we're going to type in the number four one one three five. We're remembering that we're drawing in millimeters and even though we might get information from our surveyor in meters we have to translate it to millimeters 41,135 and then we're going to do it by 15,156 I said that backwards 15 Six zero zero fifteen thousand six hundred, and then we'll press enter. So that box is forty one thousand. I will dimension it now so you can see it. So let's get the dimension tool. Forty one thousand one hundred and thirty five by fifteen thousand six hundred. Okay, let's have a look at what that looks like. So we've created a, a site mesh. If we select that and then right click, show selection marquee in 3D, we see that we've got a big fat rectangle, but it's also completely flat. There is no contour on it. And that's not correct. We actually want to add contours to the site. So how do we do that? We need to define heights on the site. Now we could do that by clicking corners, going to Z, typing in a number, and we will do that. But we also want to add not just heights on the edges, but we want to add heights to the surface as well. The way that we will do that is by using our spline tool. So down under the more, I use this a lot, so it's quite humorous that it's in the more, which suggests that it's not used very commonly. I use it quite a lot. So it's the spline tool, and we want to draw some splines across our site. And when we draw it on our site, it's very important that we start off of our site and finish off of our site. Now, this is a bit of guesswork uh, for, for what you're doing, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. When we're drawing a spline, like I said, I want you to start off. Every time we click, we create a node. and we double click to finish. Now let's draw this off the site for a second to explain what I'm saying. Click, click, click. What's it doing? It's trying to map a path based on all of the points that I've drawn. And then of course when I click again, it will actually change the path again in order to most comfortably or easily map the path to fit the points that I've assigned. The way I generally describe this is a race car driver. They need to follow the path, or a, a, a ski slalom, slalom skier will follow the path, but they want to get between the points as cleanly as possible. And so our spline will allow us to hit all of these points, we call these nodes, but keep the line as smooth as possible. The more nodes we add, the busier
that path becomes. And if we're not careful, we can create very sharp edges, or if we're very much not careful, we can actually invert our path. So we have to be a little bit careful with what we're trying to draw. We don't want to do that. And that's why adding too many nodes is a problem. We want to try to only have as many nodes as we need to define the shape. We're going to do this again. We're going to repeat this process. We're going to draw a few nodes across the site. I was just playing with one of those, so you don't need to copy the copy the one if you don't want to. And I'm going to draw a few lines across the site. Again, because this is just for play, it's not essential that this is done perfectly. And what you just note noticed then is that I accidentally clicked on the line. And so in order to make it slightly longer, I clicked on the edge left click and I could drag to stretch that. So if you do it wrong, uh, you could either just delete it and redraw it or you don't necessarily need to do that. You could also just adjust the line once it's drawn. So again, I could say, I want to pull this a little bit further. So can you please recreate this? Now that these lines don't mean anything at the moment, they're not affecting my terrain mesh at the moment, we'll do that next. At the moment, they're just spline lines on the page. So please repeat that process so you have the lines that look like mine. 